I'm on my way to pick up another kayak. I've decided to build another kayak and possibly sell it. Um, but I'm, I'm buying it as a project. So I'm on my way to pick it up right now. And I think I'm going to try to make a, uh, a video of my uh, progress on this project. So um, I will keep you posted. Well, here it is. It's an Ascend 133X Professional. And it's going to be definitely be a professional before I get done with it. So this is what it looks like right now in my garage. Tomorrow I'm going to make new stands for it to lower it down and make it easier for me to work on. But this is my new project. So far I like it. Okay, it's been about a week that I've had my ascend for my project. So I'm going to give you a little rundown on what I've done so far with it in the last week. First off, I made my, my battery box um, holder and pardon me since there were scuppers underneath I wanted to be able to access them so I built it up and I strapped it down uh, it's attached to the bulkhead and it's got a uh, strut and I put the battery in it already so that's uh, what you're seeing so far okay the only wires I have hooked up are to my my yak power I haven't hooked up the motor yet even though I've run the wire for the motor it's back there I'm not going to do anything more with that until I get the uh, material that I need which I've ordered. I've ordered the starboard for the motor mount. Um, secondly, and I've got a couple of little projects I want to show you, but secondly, I told you I had the wire run from the battery to the yak power. So, pardon me again. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm getting everything that's supposed to be in the field of view is in the field of view. So the act power is there, and it's five channels. Okay, and I have, it was just laying in the bottom, um, and I didn't like that, so. Pardon me again. I made a mount for it to get it up off the bottom and uh, the two wires that are connected is one for the bow and one for the stern and, I, <coughs> and I've got three extra switches available which one of them will be for the fish finder and one will be no I won't need any for the lights because the lights are going to hook up to the bow and the stern Okay, so I took care of that. My fish finder, I'm pretty sure I'm going to mount right here. And run the transducer through the hull and down through the scupper. To the transducer. And, and this was pretty ingenious by a sin. They created a cavity on the underside for the transducer to mount in. I like that. Another thing I like about it is, and there's got some things that I don't like about it. I'll tell you what I do like. I love these rod holders. These are phenomenal. That's a great idea. A not so great idea is putting these 
and they're they're sealed so they won't leak but they will fill up with water and then you got to take them out and dump them or suck them out with the vacuum or rags or whatever so I don't like those um, if I use them at all which um, I may not I may just cap them off um, but that's something that I don't like another thing that I don't like is if you're gonna mount a trolling motor in the rear as I am for the steering they have these outlets for your your foot pedal um, controls and this is nothing more than quarter inch vinyl tube not vinyl but uh, um, yeah it's vinyl I guess vinyl tubing um, that you feed through the hole and it comes out up here where the where the let me turn this off where the uh, foot pedal controls are going to be okay because you're going to be steering by foot controls now what they didn't do very well is they didn't provide any outlets for the wire for the for the cables anywhere so that you can attach to your your foot controls so I came up with this ingenious idea I took a piece of PVC heated it to 200 and flattened it out then I took a piece of 3 8 CPVC and I cut it at an angle and glued it on and put a quarter by 7 16 nylon ferrule in it and these were go I'm going to mount like so and that's where the cord the cables will exit and attach to the controls on the foot controller okay so that came out pretty well I like how that came out really well so I drilled through hole, three holes for mounting them and I'll just cut a slot in in the bulkhead for the nylon tubing to come out and go through here okay so that worked out very well I'm really pleased about that um, running the wire for the 50 amp wire for the motor was no big deal I ran it right through and it I put a uh, I put a boot nylon or not a nylon but I put a uh, a bushing there not a bushing but whatever it is having a senior moment here grommet it's a grommet put a grommet there to help seal it and I will silicone it also as well as I didn't grommet these two but I will silicone them but I did put stops on them so the cable couldn't be pulled down okay so that's where I am so far now the one other thing that I wanted to show you that I have done I still have to mount my paddle holder here um, the one thing I another thing I wanted to show you that I've done is this is my throttle control and I'm this is my um, I made another one for my bona fide and it came out a little neater this is my initial but it, all it is a piece of PVC and then the housing I are the uh, mount I made with starboard and you can see in there that it's got a potentiometer and it's continuous the one that comes with the motor um, and this just slides in because I think periodically you do have to change those potentiometers I've had to change one already this is my new trolling motor and I've already taken the head off of it so I'm, I'm just waiting for my mount material so I can make the mount to determine how much I want to cut off but for steering it um, I couldn't find anything because Ascend didn't really make accommodations for foot steering this was all all everything I found was based on having a a control arm that extended forward and you controlled with your hands well I didn't want to tie up my hands with that because of fishing so I designed this 
and there's, there will be two of these, one on either side, that'll mount like that, and the cables will hook to eyes, quarter 20 stainless steel eyes, on here, one here, one here, and then I'll have two screws that come together to draw these two together, and a third screw here, which will tap into the shaft to keep it from slipping. So that's what I've got for that. What else? So in a week I've come pretty far, pretty, pretty happy with my progress so far. Um, still have things to do. I think I still have to, I still have to get my, my fish finder. I purchased one. I got it and it didn't work so I'm in the pro process of sending that back and uh, since it was a discontinued model I'm going to upgrade it anyway and uh, like I said I'm going to mount that here run the transducer line down through that scupper um, and I'll come through the um, I'll come through the inspection cover access cover right there and go down through I don't want to drill. I was thinking about drilling a hole here, but I'm just concerned about water coming in here, even with the plug. And I'll run the I'll run a new plug with the wire running through it and have it sealed pretty tight. But I just want to take a chance of having it hole here and water coming up in here and going back into the hole. So that's what I got so far. What else? I guess that's pretty good for a week. I work and, you know, I'm retired, so I got nothing else to do. So I will keep you posted. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you right now. If, you think any, if I think of anything, I'll, I'll make another video. All right. So let me, uh, let me put this back so you can see how I got this. And that's secure. That's not going anywhere. All right. So that's where we are so far. So until I see you again, mañana.